Well, welcome back to the channel and to another brand new 2K17 video. This, as always, is the 101. So, more 2K17 updates today as we have got an early look at next week's reveals, which confirms a legend. We have got a matchup screen and we've also got news on this year's submissions. So, let's waste no time and get into it and let's see what we've got on today's new video. Let's get this one underway with a little news on this year's submissions. Now, as we know, 2K this year have added a secondary system for those of us that didn't like last year's system. Obviously, great news if you prefer the old breaking point system, as that's pretty much what the alternative version is going to be. However, today, some potentially less good news if you do prefer that system but also like to play online, because as confirmed by 2K's Mark Little, when playing online this year, you're going to be forced to use the system introduced last year, and the alternative system is going to be for offline use only. In terms of any other online improvements or changes this year, all that we know so far that 2K have said is that there is going to be some improvements to both how online functions as well as stability, so stay tuned for news on that which should be coming fairly soon. Next up, we have got our first look at this year's pre-match screen. Now, as we covered in a previous video, we did get a little glimpse of the Superstar Select screen this year, but moving that forward a step, with this picture, we can now see what this year's pre-match screen looks like. As you can see, as we've discussed in previous videos, 2K this year are doing a non-render art style, which I actually think looks pretty cool, and it's going to help custom wrestlers look a little less out of place. Lastly today, just like we had last week, we have got another sneak preview via mobile devices at next week's final roster reveal. Now it doesn't show as much as last week, but what we can see is a can of whoop ass, which of course looks to confirm none other than the legendary Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now in fairness, Austin's inclusion on the roster was a given, but good news for Austin fans nonetheless. And obviously last year in 2K16, we had multiple Austins, including a WWE version, a WCW version, and an ECW version. So it's going to be interesting to see if this year in 2K17, those remain as alternatives, or if 2K revert back to having just the standard Stone Cold, like we had prior to 2K16. But of course, not long to find out, because the fifth and final roster reveal is coming next week. So stay tuned for full coverage that final reveal taking place next Tuesday. So a slightly short one today, but still news is news and better than nothing. So let me know your thoughts on today's news as a comment down below. Of course, as always, stay tuned to the channel for plenty more 2K17 content coming very, very soon. And until next time, this has been 101 and I will see you all on the next one.